Okay guys, so today it's all about summer dresses. Dresses I think have become a mainstay of summer wardrobes and I think what we've all come to realize is that dresses are easy. When you find a great dress that you love, that you feel great in, that flatters your shape, it's such an easy thing to just grab and really all you need to think about is what bag you're going to wear and what shoes. So speaking of shoes, I'm just going to keep these gold sandals on the entire time because you will actually see how well a metallic sandal goes with everything in your wardrobe. So what I'm doing today, I'm going to talk you through some dresses from my own wardrobe. Now, if anything is still available, I will let you know, um, but I will also let you know if it's an oldie but goodie, which there are plenty of here. So I'm going to start with some dresses that are nothing new, they're probably dresses that you may already have in your wardrobe or that you've seen in the stores. Think um, wrap dresses, t-shirt dresses, shirt dresses, all those really classic styles of dresses that are always around season to season, but really are such good staples for the wardrobe. Then we'll get into some more seasonal dresses. So some dresses with some fuller puffy sleeves, which is very in for the season. Something like what I'm wearing, the sort of the caftan smock dress, another key dress for the season. Now, not everything is going to work for everybody, but that's why I thought I would try things on so that I can talk you through. Even how they fit me is going to relate to your body type, even though you might be very different to me. Well, let's start with the dress I'm wearing, shall we? So this is a reasonably new purchase from H&M. Now, it's part of their uh, conscious collection so the cotton is 80% recycled cotton and as you can see it's a broderie anglais so it's really very summery very fresh and I loved the white look now I was absolutely influenced by a couple of girls on Instagram uh, for this purchase so I blame them 100% but the style the caftan smock style is everywhere I should also say that this is not available online anymore. I did find this in store in the Melbourne CBD store. So you won't find it online, but you might be lucky to score one at your local store. I'm wearing a size small. So as you can see, it's very oversized. But if you miss out on this one, there are plenty of others. The style is very common. It's nothing new. There's nothing new about this caftan style. But let me break down how you can wear it if you are a very different shape to me. So obviously I'm tall, I'm wearing a size small, basically a size 10. If you are someone who is bigger busted, of course you can undo here and wear it open as a V-neck, okay? So that's one thing that you can do. The sleeves are adjustable. So if you don't like the way a sleeve looks like that, and obviously it creates a much fuller effect of the dress, then simply blouse them up and bring them up to the elbow. And now all of a sudden, I've taken away a little bit more of that fabric. If I stand like that, you can see that that probably does really work a bit better. Now keep in mind guys, even if you are petite, maybe you've got a curvier figure, you're bigger in the bust, something like this can still work because you can also get it shortened. So anything, I mean something like this, it's just got a horizontal hem, this would be really easy to shorten. Uh, the matching slip comes with the dress by the way, also cotton and I forgot to say it has pockets. So I do have to say for the price point, I think it was 69 bucks. 100% cotton, recycled cotton, a very good buy. I'm very, very sorry if it's sold out and I'm getting you all very excited. Um, but the caftan um, smock style dress, here's the thing about this style, guys. You might be looking and thinking, well, I love it on you, Sally, because you're tall and on the lean side, but it's just going to overwhelm me. But you know what? That's the whole point of this style of dress. So whether you are six foot tall and lean and put a dress like this on, or five foot four, a size 14, and put this dress on, the silhouette is the same. The silhouette is still, there's no, it's not hugging my body in any way. It's still an A-line. So basically it's falling from just under the arms and it's a slight A-line. It's not designed to hug the body. It's not designed to show shape. Where you can get shape, the neckline, the forearms, and of course the ankles. This is a great style of dress 
if you just want something really easy and casual. I can definitely see myself wearing this with maybe my strappy heeled uh, white sandals and a beautiful clutch for evening. But I know for many of you, this just might be something really easy, height of summer, beach, um, a beach dress. I know it's got a fuller sleeve, but because of the Brodre Anglais, I'm sort of hoping, hoping if I was to wear it out and about that, you know, the breeze is going to waft on through and it might actually be quite cool. And obviously being cotton, it's very breathable. So basically with this style of dress, they, it is definitely wearable for you. It's just about changing up the components of the dress to make it work better for you. And of course, this style might not be for you whatsoever, and that is okay. You don't have to love it. I'm sure there are going to be many things that I'm going to show you today that you'll say, oh, that is so much more my style. All right, speaking of which, let's move on to the next dress. So the next style is the maxi wrap dress. Now, as you can see instantly, the wrap dress is all about creating those curves, accentuating the curves and drawing the eye to the waist, unlike the smock style, the caftan style that I had on earlier. So for many of you, I know you love anything that wraps diagonally across the body. It's a really good style if you are bigger busted, if you are curvier in the hips. In fact, I personally prefer a wrap style on a curvier body shape. I just think it looks gorgeous. Let me quickly tell you about this particular dress because this is also very gorgeous. So this was sent to me by a company called Robed um, based up in Queensland and they sent this to me I reckon it must have been about uh, February and I thought how perfect this will be for my October North Queensland holiday, which of course never happened. So don't worry guys, I will plan to wear it this summer here in Melbourne. So this is a silk cotton blend, so it's a very, very lightweight uh, fabric very breathable and as you can see it's this beautiful micro leopard print so what i love about the wrap style is as i said if you're someone who wants to accentuate your waist the wrap style is going to do that perfectly and a maxi length is a really good option for those of you who don't love to show off too much leg in summer but making sure that you balance it out with showing a little bit more skin up top so what i love to do with the maxi dress because our lower body is basically covered is to make sure the upper body has a little bit more shape or there's a little bit more skin exposed. So this example, we've got the waist highlighted and you've got the decolletage nice and open, but equally it could be something with a halter neck, it could be sleeveless, short sleeved, sleeveless, backless, anything like that off the shoulder, just to balance out the coverage down below. So the wrap style, a wrap and a maxi together or one or the other is a really good dress option. A wrap style, because of the nature of the wrapping around diagonally on the body, it's not only great for highlighting a waist if you naturally have one, but it's also great for creating a waist if you don't naturally have one. And anything that cuts diagonally, anything that wraps is also great for disguising the tummy even more so if it's in a print. Okay, let's go to our next dress. So this one I'm going to refer to as your classic sundress. And as you can see, the silhouette is very, very classic. It's been around for decades. It's almost a little bit retro 1950s housewife, but I really love it. So the style is really typified by a lot more exposure on the upper body. So uh, narrow straps, chest, back, shoulders and arms all out, fitted bodice to the natural waist before it A-lines over the hip. So this is another really good style for those of you who prefer to highlight your upper body, show off your arms, shoulders, decolletage, etc., even your back and camouflage or hide your lower body if you've got a fuller hip, bigger bum, bigger thighs. This is a really good shape that's going to balance out your proportions very, very well. Of course, you could style this one up lots of different ways. You could add a belt, add a bit of a heel, maybe a nice espadrille or wedge, but a really classic, elegant, ladylike sort of style. Okay, 
next. But before I do, I should mention this is not a new purchase. This is something I bought last year, but I will link the brand. The brand is called Saloni, and I'm pretty sure this is one of their classic styles of dresses that they just do in different fabrics. So you can check that out. But keep in mind, it's not necessarily about going out and buying what I'm showing you. It's looking for the elements of the dresses that I'm showing you when you're next out shopping. So our next style is the mini dress. Now I'm going to give you some advice that you might might be familiar with because it was very similar to what I talked about in my IGTV on the summer blouse. For those of you who want to wear something fuller on top to cover the upper body but expose the legs because they're your best asset. So unlike the maxi dress which is when we want to cover our lower body but highlight our upper body, a mini dress is perfect for the opposite reason. So if you love your legs and your legs are your best assets and they're the part of your body that you're comfortable and happy to show off in summer but you want to cover the midsection a little bit more then something like this dress is absolutely fabulous. Now this dress before I go on is a current season from two Melbourne girls called Barry Made Studio so you may have seen me uh, I have worn this before and I've got a few more of their other pieces. So this one is also 100% cotton and as you can see it's actually this beautiful white embroidered fabric throughout. You've got button up all the way from bottom to top so you can wear it open or closed as much as you like and you've got the very full puff sleeve with the cuff just button up cuff at the bottom. But like the H&M dress you can bring the sleeves up and just have them sitting a little bit higher on the arm if that's what you prefer. So the other thing the dress does come with is a matching belt. So if you're someone who is very comfortable showing off your lower legs but you want to create a bit more shape of course you can add a belt as well. So it could be the matching belt or it could be a contrasting belt depending on what shoes you are wearing. So that is a really great option as well and also in there somewhere are pockets. Now I should mention the little white slip that I'm wearing with this is actually the slip uh, that I've taken from the H&M dress. It doesn't come with a slip but they're very easy to find. So the mini dress, that's my next option. So I have to be, as I've said before, um, really in the mood to show off this much leg. I definitely have to have a bit of fake tan on. But for those of you who love your legs and are more comfortable showing off your legs but want a little bit more coverage through the middle, this is a great option for you. Okay, so our next style is the apron maxi dress. But more importantly, I've purposefully chosen this dress to talk about the shoulder line. So this has got a halter neck. A halter neck is something that cuts away. So you've got that lovely diagonal line, which is great for accentuating your shoulders. So if you're someone who is narrower in the shoulder line, wider in the hips, anything with a halter neck is great for giving the illusion that your shoulders are actually wider. Many of you have probably had a halter neck before, possibly most likely in your swimwear. Well, a halter neck is one of those styles that again, it's been around for many, many years, but it's very, very good if you are someone who is slimmer on top and tends to carry their weight in their lower body. Now, this particular dress is New Season Country Road. The fabric is a lovely mid-weight linen and underneath you've got a little cotton half slit built in, which is actually really good because it gives you that sense of extra support around the tummy, which I love. You've got some side pockets, yay, bonus, and you've got adjustable straps. Now, ladies, adjustable straps are really important just as they are on your bras, because what you wanna do is you want to adjust the strap so that the dress fits your proportions, which might be different to someone's proportions who is the same size. So case in point, when I put this on, the waistband, the natural waist seam in the dress sat a little bit too low on me. By simply shortening the straps, all of a sudden the waist comes up and sits on my natural waist, which is the smallest, smallest part of my torso. Couple of other features of this dress to discuss. The higher fitted neckline, the very big check is great for small busts. So this is a really good style for me. But what I also love about it is that on the lower body, you've got the checks going in completely the opposite direction. You've now got a diagonal check. So what this is also good for is creating that movement. 
um, helping to balance out upper and lower body, great camouflage, a little bit of a disguise for the tummy, hips and bum, a really lovely combination. So as I said, this is new season, ladies. I suggest this might be a bit of a winner. I did actually get this dress purely to show you today to demonstrate the halter neck, but I have to say the more I've worn it, the more I actually like it. So it might be a bit of a keeper. Okay, next. so our next style of dress is what I call the t-shirt dress. So think of your summer tanks and your summer t-shirts, but in a dress. So there's lots of variations of these. They are everywhere. They're a great summer option. They're very, very casual. So they're great just with sneakers or slides or thongs. They're great to throw over your bathers. They're not necessarily something that you would dress up, but they're really just simple and minimalist and actually quite timeless. So this, speaking of timeless, is a really old one from Basic. I've actually got three variations of this dress. I find for me, they're just really good to throw on in the summer holidays. Stripes are also a very good option, as is that asymmetric hem that Basic are very well known for. And then the other one I thought I'd show you is just more your classic t-shirt dress. So it literally is a t-shirt, but in a dress. So again, you can choose this style to work for your shape. You can go longer or shorter, but this is just a great option to have one of these in your wardrobe for those really casual days, those hot summer days where you just want to be comfortable. And I like these with a sneaker, a little bum bag, my straw fedora, and I'm pretty well set to go. Okay, I think we've got a couple more before I am quickly running out of time. Well, next on the list is the shirt dress. Such a wardrobe classic and more than appropriate as a summer option, particularly if you look for something in a natural fibre like cotton, like linen, like silk, or a combination of all three. And what I love about a shirt dress is also the variability it gives you because you can sort of tweak a shirt dress unlike perhaps other dresses and you can make it work for your shape. I also love a shirt dress because you can dress it up and dress it down. So it could be more than appropriate for the office, but it can also work for the weekend. So this is an old one from Jack and Jack. You've seen me style this before. But as I said, I love that a shirt dress can be worn in lots of different ways. And one of those features of a shirt dress that allows you to adjust the dress to suit your proportions is of course the waist. So many shirt dresses will come with a belt often removable, and you can really choose whether you want to show off the waist and wear the belt or not. So with this one, you've got a built-in waist tie, so I can either do it up, show off the waist, create a little bit of shape, or equally, I can undo it and wear it quite straight. Things that you can also do, obviously, you can undo the button, so you can wear the collar open or closed. Sleeves, we can play around with. So I'll show you how different just rolling the sleeve up in terms of one side of my body to another. Then of course we do this, we create even more shape. And then of course we can adjust and do up as many buttons as we like. So a shirt dress, as I said, I think is more than appropriate as a summer dress. Great option to wear to work, work to the weekend. And you can look at sleeveless options as well when it comes to shirt dresses. You can go longer or shorter. It really is about choosing a shirt dress and then adjusting it and wearing it in the best way to suit your shape. Okay, I've got one more dress to go. So my final dress suggestion for the summer wardrobe is simply something absolutely fabulous. The dress that you put on to celebrate, something that's going to see you through the festive season, parties, celebrations, Christmas day. A dress that screams resort wear, that screams I need a holiday, get me out of here. The dress that is bold, that is fun, that's a little bit loud, but something that when you put it on, you just feel fabulous. This is not a new one. This is something that I actually bought last year for my summer holidays, and it was actually my Christmas day dress last year. The brand is Mara Hoffman. She's a beautiful designer, uh, all sustainably made. But the key features of this dress that are still very on trend for this season is that puff statement sleeve. So there's lots of this around on the high street in variations, of course. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my dress IGTV and it's given you some ideas to perhaps go and do some shopping over summer and choose some dresses to suit your style, suit your shape and of course work back with your wardrobe. I will see you soon and I hope you're all doing well guys. And a really special shout out to all my followers overseas 
who are not doing as well as we are here in Australia, who are back in lockdown. I do appreciate your support and hopefully these videos and anything else that I'm doing on Instagram can bring a little bit of light into your life. See you soon.